In this video, we're going to discuss long division as well as doing a few examples. And we'll include examples that have large numbers, multi digit divisors, remainders, and we'll go through about three examples. So, long division is really a four step process of dividing, multiplying, subtracting, and then bringing down. And this process is repeated until the answer is found. So, if you were asked the question, what is 9,777 divided by 34, and you were going to go about it by long division, then this is how you do that. So, the first step you should do is to write down multiples of your divisor. So, we have 34... 68, 102, 136, 170, uh, 204, 238, 274, and 308. And you'll find that these become really useful. And I'll show you why. So, first, let's do the divide step. So, 9 divided by 34, that doesn't work. So we'll carry the 9 here. So 97 divided by 34. Well, 34 will go into there twice because we have 68. And the next multiple after 68 is 102, and that's bigger than 97. So we'll put 2 up top. So that's the divide. Then we multiply 2 times by 34, 68. Then we subtract 97 minus 68, and we get, so that 9 will become an 8, and we'll carry a 1. So 8 minus 6 is 2, and 17 minus 8 is 9. So that's a subtract step, and now we bring down 7 and a 7. So now we're going to repeat the step over, the, the example over. So, 29 divided by 34, that doesn't work. Okay, well, 297, obviously 34 divides into 297. So now we look at this and our multiples, and we see where, where does 297 fall. So 297 falls right there. So basically there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 six, seven, eight multiples. So 297 divided by 34 will be eight remainder something. So we're going to write eight. So that's the divide step. Then we'll multiply eight times by 34 and it'll be 274. And then we'll subtract 274 from 297. So then we'll get 23. So we multiplied, we subtracted, and now we're going to bring down the 7. So now we have 237. So how many times does 34 go into 237? It goes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So we put a 6 up there, and then what 6 times by 34? To 204 and we'll subtract so there we did divide we multiplied and now we're going to subtract so we'll have 33 and now there's nothing to bring down so that's finished but now you'll notice that we have this 33 so we're going to divide again so 33 divided by 34 that doesn't work so now we left with the remainder Remainder 33. So basically what we have is 286 plus 33 divided by 34. And that will be the final answer. So let's do some more examples to try and get a grasp of this. So here the question is 94,760 divided by 8. 
So, we'll go along with the same method. Now, because I know my 8 times table, I won't do what I did in this example and write down multiples of it. So, I will say 9 divided by 8 is 1. So that was the divide step. Next is multiply. 8 times 1 is 8. Then we subtract the 8. We're left with 1. Now we bring down. So now 8 doesn't go into that 1, but 8 goes into 14 and it goes in once. So 8 times by 1 is going to be 8. So 14 minus 8, 6. Then we bring down 7, 6, 0. Now 8 doesn't go into 6, but 8 goes into 67. And 8 goes into 67 8 times. So 8 times 8 is 64. And now we subtract. 67 minus 64 is 3. And we bring down the 6 and the 0. So, now we say 3 divided by 8, so 3 doesn't, so 8 doesn't divide into 3, but it does into 36, and it divides in 4 times. So then we say 4 times by 8 is 32, and then we subtract, and we're left with 4, and we bring down the 0. So now... 8 goes into 40 5 times. Then we multiply 5 times by 8 is 40. We subtract and we're left with 0 and there's nothing to bring down. And you'll see that 0 is the answer over here, so there's no remainder. So our answer to this question is simply 11,845. Here's another example. So I don't really know my 13 times table for this example. So I'm going to go ahead and write it on the side. 13, 26, 39, 52, 65, 78, 91, and 104. So 13 doesn't go into 8, but 13 does go into 89. And it goes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So now 13 times by 6 is equal to 78. And we subtract. So 89 minus 78 is equal to 11. And we bring down the 102. Now 13 doesn't go into 1, it doesn't go into 11, but it does go into 111. And it goes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. So now we say 13 times by 8, and that's 104. And we subtract, and we're left with 7. So we bring down the 0, and we bring down the 2. So now 13 doesn't go into 7, but 13 goes into 70. And it goes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So 13 times by 5 is equal to 65. Then we subtract 65 from 70. So 70 minus 65 is just 5. We bring down the 2. Now 13 doesn't go into 5, but 13 goes into 52, and it goes in 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So 13 times by 4 is 52, and we subtract it now, and we're left with 0. And now because we're left with 0, we know that this doesn't have a remainder. So this is simply our final answer. So 89,102 divided by 13 is equal to 6,854. 
If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm going to post another video on short division relatively soon if you do need that. Thank you.